Hello, my name is Bree and I work with Bridgeville and South Fayette Public Library and today I will be showing you how to make DIY teacup candles. These are going to be great for to spruce up your decor whether that's indoors or outdoors and they are very easy to make and only require a few simple materials. Alrighty, so the first thing that we have to do is we have to prep our teacup. Here I have a thrifted teacup that I got a while ago now. And I have one wick you can buy, um, a couple of these in a set from like Amazon or wherever. And we're just going to use tape. And we're going to tape this metal bit in the center of that teacup. You can also use hot glue, um, a hot glue gun. They, there will be some extra considerations you have to make with that step, so, but anything that you feel comfortable with. Alright, my tape has secured the wick. And now we're going to use our pencil to roll the wick so that it lays flat. You can't see that, but they are bendable. I want to make sure that it stays straight. And our teacup is prepped. Now we can move on to the interesting part, the wax. So now on to the wax part. So for this part, you're gonna need to get out your pans. I have a bigger pan full of water in which I'm going to boil. And then I have an empty pan that I'm gonna put my wax in. Now I use natural soy wax. You can buy um, colorants and scents if you'd like. You do not have to buy as big of a bag that I have. I bought it a big bag because I was making huge batch of these, which is the nice thing about this craft. You can make as little or as many as you would like. They make great gifts too if, you're, um, if you ever need a gift idea. Alrighty, I'm going to get this boiling and then I'll show you to get to the melting wax part. Alrighty, now that our water is boiling, I'm going to turn it down. So I just eyeballed the wax. Um, you can always add more if you need to. And as you can see, it's little flakes here. I'm just gonna put it right here. And we're going to, in this setup, I need to hold it. It's already actually starting to melt just a little bit. So this is not gonna take very long at all. This is not needed, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a spatula real quick to stir this. Now, because of my setup, I filled the pot with more water, but depending on what you use, you won't need to. And as you can tell, I got it really hot, so there's only like a few flakes left that are floating around, and those will melt pretty quickly. And you want to watch everything thoroughly too when you're done with this. Okay, so it's all melted, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And we're going to make our teacup candle. Okay, so we put our hot water away. We might need it because we might need more wax. Here's our melted wax. I have our teacup candle. And I'm just going to go ahead and pour it in. And the nice thing with the tape, at least, is once you pour in the wax, it will secure the tape for you. Now, if you are using a hot glue gun, you might want to wait for this to cool a little bit because it will melt the hot glue. And you can also use a funnel for this, but I'm not going to. All right, we poured in our wax and had the perfect amount, which never happens for a first time. We're gonna go ahead and let this cool. Do not put this in the freezer. Just let it harden here out in room temperature. And then while we're, I'll wait for that to harden and I'll show you what we need to do to finish up. Alrighty, so our teacup has dried. My pencil kind of just slid out very easily. It took about like an hour and a half for this to dry. So just keep that in mind that you can need to put it in a place where little ones or pets can get to it. 
and we are going to now take some scissors. I have the kitchen shears just right here. And we're going to trim the wick. You don't want a particularly long wick. There we go. Here's the DIY candle. I hope you've had fun DIYing. And please feel free to reach out with me with any pictures of your DIY teacup candles. Thank you and have a good day.